Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to achieve fake looking lashes with drugstore mascara. So um, I'm going to use two mascaras today and the first one is going to be the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Lashes in Original and this one is black as black and also the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara also in black or black as black I can't remember and it's kind of small to read but um, it's either black or black as black anyways um, and oh and the other thing you're going to need is um, this eyelash curler right here so I noticed that this one by itself um, can get a quite clumpy clumpy <laughs> If I can talk, but um, I really like the vo volume it gives me. And then this one gives me length, but it doesn't give me the volume that I really like. So, um, but these two together really help. This one helps this one not be so clumpy and um, and all that stuff. So, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my lashes. And let me get this up close and personal with you guys. But I'm just going to curl my lashes like this. Hold it for a couple minutes, for not minutes, but just a couple seconds. And then go to the other one. Ooh. There we go. And make sure that you actually get lashes in there because sometimes you can miss, but just like that. All right. And then the other thing I like to do is I kind of like to spread them out like this because sometimes the eyelash curler can bunch them up a little bit. So yeah, that helps so it won't get all bunched up. So this is how the brush looks like in the voluminous um mascara looks like this right there and I'm just gonna put a couple coats as you can see I already have all my um, makeup on my full face just like that And just make sure that you spread the mascara out, too. And I'm going to dip it in one more time. I really love this mascara, but I don't like how clumpy it gets. So the... Eyelash curler just really helps your eyelashes go up, which none of these um, mascaras help. So, okay, so after you put this one on, this is the one I like to put on first, I wait a couple seconds just so that the mascara on my eyelashes can get a little bit tacky. And then I go ahead and put this mascara on, which looks like this, and it has, the wand has a little dip in it. And I just top it off like this. And at the end of this video, I will show you guys a picture. So just like this. Sorry, that's my dog in the background. She just gets really excited. She's a little corgi. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. And it's pretty much the same thing. I really like how these two mascaras really um, have that fake eyelash look without the hassle of putting fake eyelashes on. I personally don't know how. <laughs> and I always end up gl um, gluing my eyeball shut. So I like this route better. 
And yes, it's kind of annoying that you have to use two um, mascaras for this. But for me, since I don't know how to put fake eyelashes on, it's kind of worth it. So, Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and use this mascara now. And just separate all the lashes. And add also length. So I'm going to go ahead and just top off this eye with another coat of the Maybelline mascara. And I will list all the products down below. And this is just um, another just for it to um, give it just a little bit more length. So I like to. And this mascara doesn't clump at all. So you really can put as much as you desire. So like that. Okay, so then I'm gonna you I'm going to do my bottom lashes with the Maybelline mascara. Sorry, I wasn't in frame. And that is all I do. Here, let me do one more coat on this eye. There. Okay, now this is all I do. And I will do a up close there. So as you can see, my eyelashes are very, very long. And here. I don't know if that's good, but. And they pretty much look fake. Like, in my opinion, I think that they're as good as use, as using fake eyelashes. So, and without the hassle. So, I'm going to post a picture um, at the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And please comment. Um, I love to hear your guys' feedback, so please do so. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.